In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. As you might expect, music legend Sting has earned a hefty fortune over the years in the biz, and that helped him land his many stunning homes. From a main house in the UK to a Malibu beach house and many more in between, this dude is living the life. Sting is an English singer, songwriter, occasional actor and big time real estate investor with a net worth estimated to be in the ballpark of around $550 million. Best known as a member of the police and for his prolific career as a solo artist, Sting has seen his albums go platinum in several countries around the world. His most successful project, 1983's Synchronicity, would not only only go eight times platinum, it would be inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. All in all, Sting has sold more than a hundred million records worldwide and in February of 2022, he became the latest artist to sell his songwriting catalog for a stellar $300 million. Now he and his longtime partner Trudy Styler are looking to spend their golden years across a series of remarkable homes from New York City to the UK and more. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. Entertainment. And in this one, we're checking out where Stink calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. We're gonna kick things off in New York City where Sting and Trudy bought their penthouse in 2008 for just under $27 million. And with 44 feet of unbelievable frontage along its Central Park location and a nearly 400 square foot terrace, they invested in some truly stunning views, even seen in the bathrooms. Speaking of the interior, the home boasts 5,500 square feet of space with three bedrooms and a home office alongside epic 10 foot tall ceilings in almost every room. After moving in, the couple brought on architect Lee F. Mindel to unify what had previously been multiple apartments. He also installed a number of the eye popping features that now reside in the home like the floating staircase as well as a custom made freestanding fireplace in the living room. Next, he transformed the culinary space into a chef's kitchen with two full-size refrigerators, a wolf stove top, four ovens, and three, that's right, three dishwashers. Then there's the primary bedroom, which includes his and hers dressing rooms, a dual spa bathroom, and a gigantic sauna. So why did Sting and Trudy move? Well, according to sources, they eventually found the place too stuffy. So they listed the home in 2018 for a whopping $56 million but wound up selling for only $50 million. Not that that was in any way a loss. I mean, they still got almost double what they paid for the place originally. The couple is believed to have picked up another New York penthouse, but there's conflicting information as to where it might have been. Regardless, New York City is not where either Sting or Trudy's hearts truly reside. For that, we'll have to travel across the pond to the UK and visit the county of Wiltshire. Tucked into an 800 acre estate and boasting everything from its own recording studio to a wine cellar and an organic farm is Sting's favorite home, a 16th century English cottage known as Lake House. Sting was on tour in Mexico in the late 90s when he got a phone call from Trudy excited over the fact that she'd found them a new home. Speaking about their decision at the time, Trudy said, I told him I loved it. He asked why I wanted to buy it. I gave him a lot of reasons. There was silence. Then I told him that there was a 350 year old tree in the garden. Buy it was the quick reply. That ancient copper beach is now one of Sting's favorite spots on the entire planet. He says he often disappears underneath it with a guitar in hand to search for a little solitude and work out new music. In fact, since buying the house in the 90s, the recording studio located on the premises has more or less become Sting's go-to studio. To make the place feel like a real family home, they brought in their friend Elaine Mertens and with his help they freshened the entire space up. Originally built in 1578 to serve as a commercial space for a West Country wool merchant, the house was enlarged in the 18th century and then rebuilt in 1912 after a devastating fire almost burned it to the ground. In order to respect the home's history, a careful restoration was required, so builders got to work on the plaster, stone, and structure. The kitchen was also redesigned, taking the abandoned kitchen and pantry unused since the 30s and transforming it into a kitchen and dining room accessible to the family. For furniture, Sting and Trudy settled on a baroque green and pink velvet sofa as well as a yellow armchair. And for holidays, the couple's another massive reception room with cream and red wallpaper. 
alongside ceilings tall enough to allow for a Christmas tree that's this big. Other transformations included switching one gigantic room into five smaller bedrooms for visiting children or friends, as well as the creation of Sting's recording studio, which had at one point been the home's dining hall. Now that space has vaulted ceilings, rusty orange walls, green flooring, a large rug, and most importantly, all the musical instruments Sting can handle. Further rooms include a library, a piano room, and Trudy's favorite spot, her master bath with a gigantic tub. Even after living here for over two decades, Sting is still adding onto the place. He recently filed the paperwork for the addition of a new swimming pool and a gazebo, something the designers are referring to as quirky architectural fantasies. After having spent 16 weeks in the Italian city of Pisa in the summer of 1990, Sting and Trudy decided that Tuscany was going to become the spot of their summer home. The only problem, it would take them seven years to find the perfect spot. But in 1997, they happened upon a 16th century wine estate located just outside of Florence. This home once belonged to Italian nobility, but at the time Sting and Trudy found it, it had fallen onto hard times. Thankfully, Sting fell in love with the views and then bought it for what he says was only a song. Of course, since this is Sting, that could be a pretty expensive song indeed. Once they bought the property, they got to work. First things first, the vineyards were a big mess with dry soil and land, so they fixed that right up with the help of experts and locals. Some would work the land for generations. Now the fields are full of olive groves, vegetable gardens, and vineyards. As for the wine that gets produced here, well, as you might imagine, it has some very on-brand names straight out of Sting's catalog, like Roxanne, Message in a Bottle, and When We Dance. After more than a decade of painstaking renovations, the home is now complete with a whopping 865 acres of space, six guest houses, five lakes, and a forest with more than 8,000 trees. Basically, it's the very definition of a Tuscan estate. And guess what? You can stay here if you'd like. Whenever Sting and Trudy are back home in the UK, they allow others to rent this space out for lavish weddings or a little vacation getaway. And with amenities like a tennis court, outdoor pizza oven, wine cellar, and an antique fountain that used to belong to Italian actress Sophia Loren, not to mention on-site activities like massages, horseback riding lessons, yoga classes, and a state-of-the-art recording studio, it has a little something for everyone. Let's not forget, Sting also has a vacay spot in Malibu. Originally built in 1927, Sting and Trudy bought this adobe-style home about two decades ago and decided to keep much of its original design intact, boasting oversized wood beams that run across a pink-walled living room, one that features a picture window with seat that overlooks the ocean. You can practically feel the charm from the place the moment you step foot inside. Other grand rooms include multiple living areas, including a chef's kitchen and a dining room. Meanwhile, the bedrooms upstairs all overlook views of the Pacific. There's also a separate guest apartment with a wraparound terrace, as well as a fully stocked gym as well. After all, if you're shelling out close to $200,000 a month for this rental, you want the place to come with everything, right? There's no doubt that that's a lot of money, but just to wait until you land eyes on the home's pool, gardens, and that show-stopping patio with a fireplace, dining area, spa, and access to a dreamy beachfront. All right, guys, that's gonna bring this latest Sting house tour to a close. Be sure to let me know what you thought about his many, many properties in the comments down below, and tell me which of these four is your dream spa. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.